Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Mechanical Stream and I hope you are doing well. Friend, in today's video, we are going to check the free certification course provided by the AWS that is a Amazon company and you can see here the course topic is a AWS Technical Essentials and friend, it is absolutely free and you can enroll in this certification from any country. It is absolutely free and we are going to check the all the details, what types of things you will learn, how you have to register. So please watch the video complete. So you can see here, we are at the uh, official page of the uh, Amazon Web Services, you can see here and uh, friend you can see here the topic name that is uh, AWS Technical Essentials and the course is available uh, friend in English language and you can see duration is uh, 4 hours and uh, friend along with that you can see the courses are also available in Dutch, Spanish, France, then you can see Italian and uh, turkeys and many more so you can also explore in your, your local languages uh. and friend you can see yes this course was updated on tuesday uh, of august uh, first august 2023 so it is a very uh, recent course so please try to uh, complete it as soon as possible so that you can apply for the their skills uh. so friend uh, let's check about this course uh, first so you can see here AWS Technical Essential introduces you to essential Amazon Web Services and common solutions. This course covers the fun fundamentals of AWS concepts related to compute, database, storage, networking, monitoring and security. And you will start working in AWS through hands-on course experience. This course covers the concept of necessity to increase your understanding of AWS services. Then you can see you can make an informed decision about the solutions that meet business requirement uh, throughout the course. You will gain information on how to build, compare and apply high available fault tolerance. So these are the requirements you given. You can see course level is a fundamental and the duration is a one uh, four hours is given. So this course includes uh, activities like uh, reading tests, interactive lessons, videos, demonstrations and knowledge check questions. So let's check what is the course objective. So let's uh, zoom in. So you can see here, course objectives are given like a uh, describe terminology and concept related to AWS services, navigate the AWS management console, then articulate key concepts of AWS security, then uh, distinguish between several AWS computer services including Amazon, Elastic Compute Cloud, then uh, you can see AWS Lambda. Then you can see distinguish between several AWS container services including Amazon Elastic Container Service and Amazon Elastic, uh, you can see Kubernetes Services Amazon. So also you can see here, uh, describe database and storage offering including Amazon Relational Database Services. You can see here Amazon and then DynamoDB, then Amazon Simple Storage Services. Uh, and you will also explore AWS networking services and access and configure Amazon CloudWatch monitoring features. Uh, these are the given and you can see uh, this course is uh, for the audience. You can see here like if you are the individual responsible for articulating technical benefits of AWS services to customers, individuals interested in learning how to get started with AWS, then system operation administrators, solution architects, you can see then developers. Uh, so, and friend also if you want to make your career in the uh, technology field, then it is also suitable for you. So, you can see here, uh, the prerequisites are given here, that uh, uh, need IT some experience, then uh, basic knowledge of common data center architectures and components, uh, then server, networking, database application and so on. Then you can see, no prior call, uh, cloud computing on AWS experiences are required. Uh, so let's check the uh, what types of uh, models you will learn. You can see here, uh, the first model is given here. That is an uh, introduction to Amazon Web Services. So you will learn what is the AWS, AWS Global Infrastructure. Then uh, interacting with AWS, similarly you can see uh, some other things are given like uh, hosting the employee directory application on AWS. Then uh, at the end of a every model, you have to do the MCQ questions. Uh, so in the model number two, you can see here, uh, you will learn regarding the AWS computer. So computer as a service, 
then it started with Amazon EC2, then Amazon EC2 extends life cycle, then uh, demonstration you need to do like launching the employee directory applications on Amazon, then continuous services, then uh, introduction to serverless, choosing right compute services, module to knowledge checker. So let's check the uh, model number three. So model number is three is for the networking. So you will get the introduction to networking, Amazon VPC, VPC routing, VPC security, then again, you will get the knowledge check. Similarly, in model number four, which is for the AWS storage. So what are the various storage types that are available? Then file storage with Amazon EFS and Amazon FSX. Then you can see block storage, object storage, choosing the right storage services, demonstration, and then you will again end the MCQ question. So let's take the model number five. So in model number five, friend, you can see here, you will learn what are the databases on AWS. So introduction to database on AWS, Amazon IDS, then uh, purpose build database, Amazon Dynamo DB, choosing the right database services. Then again, you will get the uh, demonstration and knowledge check. In model number six, when you can see, you have to monitor load balancing and scaling. So you have to do the monitoring, Amazon Cloud Watch, solution optimization, then traffic routing with elastic load balancing. Then Amazon EC2 auto scaling, then uh, you, you have to do the demonstration that is making the employee directory application high available. Then employee directory application redesign, and again you have to do the knowledge check. So also you can see some new things are added. Uh, you can see here lesson number of 51 that is a uh, innovation with AWS and at the end of the course you can see end of course assessment. Uh, so after uh, completing all these modules, uh, friend, you have to do the, uh, in lesson number 52, you have to give the assessment and after that you will get the certificates. So friend, you can see here, you will get this type of certificates. So before going to check the certificate, friend, if you're not subscribed to our channel Mechanical Streamate, please subscribe. We are making the free certification courses, videos for you, interview related opportunities uh, and intensive opportunities. Uh, so please subscribe Mechanical Stream. It will help us to create more videos for you. And friend, also please share this video with your friends, with your colleagues in your network. So you can see here, friend, you will get this type of certificate. On the top, you can see you will get the logo of AWS. Then uh, you can see your name will be given. And uh, then topic name that is AWS Technical Essentials will be given. And you can see it is assigned by Director Training and Certification of AWS. So also you can see the uh, here. Completion date is given. So these are the uh, things uh, you will get. And friend, uh, let's check how you have to register for this uh, thing. So for registration purposes, friend, uh, it is not very complex. You have to simply click on this enroll. And once you click, then you will get this type of window. Yes, so you can see multiple options are given. So you can go through anyone. So let's, uh, we are going through the uh, our regular Amazon account, which you, we use for the uh, e-commerce. So you can select it back, like uh, login with Amazon. Then you have to click on the sign in. And after that, you have to create an account if you are not having. If you already you have, you have your account, then you can directly log in. If not, you have to click on this create Amazon account. And after that, you have to provide some necessary details like your name, your email, your password. Then again, you have to verify your password. And then, uh, you can see password uh, must be at least six characters. So after providing this uh, some details, you can create out an account and uh, once you create an account, then uh, you can uh, access this course and get the certificates. And friend, if you face any query or if you face any issues uh, regarding the completion of uh, the certificate, uh, please comment on the video. We are going to check it and resolve your queries. And friend, please subscribe Mechanical Stream. Thank you.